On Sunday morning at 10 o'clock right here on this station, the television show Greenlight Maine will air its 100th episode. Greenlight Maine puts Maine entrepreneurs in the spotlight, giving them the chance to make a pitch in hopes of winning a $100,000 prize for their business. Now here's how one of those entrepreneurs made his pitch. It slowly but surely became the business that we are today. It was about taking a product that would have otherwise gone into a landfill and repurposing it into a product that someone could use every single day. James Moran from Flow Fold. Welcome to Greenlight Maine. We are a worldwide brand. And there's no delusions of grandeur here. I'm not here to tell you that we're a billion dollar company. But we are not the same small wallet company on Peaks Island, Maine. We are coast to coast. All right, Julien Gervais is the host of this show. Nat Thompson is the producer of Greenlight Maine. They both join us now in the studio. Thanks so much for coming in. Nat, we'll start with you. 100 episodes, that's a big milestone. It is a big milestone. We're pretty proud of it, actually. It's a lot of work, too. How many businesses have you featured? Uh, the 26 every year, so 104, although Flowfold has been on three seasons, and this season, you'll find out on Sunday whether they make the finale. The stakes are high for these people because they run small businesses, so the opportunity to win $100,000 is transformative for some of them. What is it like? Is it really fiercely competitive or are they all pretty nice and friendly and diplomatic? They are very friendly and that's one thing that I wish we could somehow convey to the viewers because they are all, they have this camaraderie about themselves and they're all in it together. So we find out that even after the show airs, they keep in touch with each other, they follow each other and it's really amazing and wonderful to see. You have kind of the best seat in the house as the host of this <laughs> show. What do you see in the contestants that we don't see on television? Oh, I, I do feel very humbled and privileged because I get to root for everybody <laughs> and I want, they all deserve $100,000, let's put it that way. And they are all winners and I get to see that part of them. They all have this great story to tell. I mean, most of them have started either in their basement or their garage or, you know, in their parents' living room and having their parents help them um, as one of them comes to mind dental lace but they do it's just a wonderful thing and we have found out that even if you don't win the money this is a huge platform to maybe get outside investment and 15 million dollars has been invested since contestants has have been on the show wow yeah now you're starting something new it's the green light main collegiate challenge what's that all about so we approached all the main colleges and universities, and a lot of them have programs themselves. Colby has a pretty robust one, Bates has one, um, as well as the university system. Um, and we went out and we said, do you think you can identify some contestants for us who have business ideas, who are gonna pitch sort of entrepreneurial programs? So we found close to 20, we narrowed it down to 10, we created five shows which will start airing not this Sunday, but the following Sunday. Did you find, as, as you were talking to colleges and talking in particular to college students, that, that they were there, that you didn't have to twist arms, but that there were, there were college students, 19, 20, 21 year olds who were saying, yes, this is the kind of thing we wanna do. We wanna be entrepreneurs starting businesses. Yes, we did find that. And surprisingly, the, the quality of the companies were much better than we thought. They're not all you know, dialed in and ongoing businesses or going concerns but they certainly have great ideas. Some of them are just ideas, but there's some great stuff out there, some really interesting ones. You have some great moments on the show. Let's take a look at another clip. We've all heard that saying, build a better mousetrap and the world will beat a path to your door. Let's take a look. You're ready. So basically, I came up with a better mousetrap system. Instead of taking a regular mousetrap. Now you actually had, had this guy on the show who pitched the better mousetrap because his mousetrap is in a little box. So the mice get into the box and they can't get out. Now, <laughs> what's important here is not necessarily the nature of the mousetrap, there's the box, but the inventiveness, the inventive spirit and the ingenuity that entrepreneurs bring. What, I mean, like what kinds of products, what kinds of services have people pitched that have made an impression and, thought, and made you guys think, wow, this is a really good idea? I can think of a few of them. That was one great one. I mean, he's, a, he's actually <laughs> animal control guy, but also a taxidermist, lives on Taxidermy Lane in Love Sanford. It. Love it. Um, <laughs> and he was a character. He was great. But um, there, there was one that was a sort of augmented reality app, and it basically you use your phone and you point it and you can see boundary lines for property. 
using tax maps that are loaded in. Wow. That was pretty special. Pretty smart um, idea. So there's some, been yeah. some really good ones. And a lot of them fulfill a need. Like with James, I mean, they were taking stuff out of the trash and repurposing it. So that all that stuff was just going to go in the landfill, and now they're turning it into beautiful backpacks and bags. Flow There's fold. your flow, flow fold. Yeah. And, the, and it all started with the wallet. <laughs> there right? you go. The 100th episode of Greenlight Main airing Sunday morning at 10 o'clock right here on this station. And in that episode, you'll reveal the three finalists for this season who will be going for the $100,000. Matt, Julene, thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate you being here. And if you want more information on Greenlight Maine, you'll find it on our website or mobile app in the 207 section. And we're back in a moment.